So one of the problems with solar water heating is what you do with the heat when you have too much, like if you don't need it in the summertime. And uh, one of the solutions is to use these uh, big covers that you can buy with the uh, panels. But like this whole thing is about as big as a garage door. And uh, so if you've got this like high up on a roof or high up on a wall, it's pretty inconvenient to uh, cover them and uncover them, you know, based on uh, whether or not you need the heat. So last time I was showing you guys the fin tube that I had laying on the floor. So I'm running the system right now through one of the uh, fin tubes and I got it sitting up on top here. I'm just gonna show you how that looks. So I've got two rows up there and uh, right now I'm only using one. You can see the red hose there, that's actually part of the venting system. So that's pretty critical for this experiment because uh, I don't want it to be building up pressure without an expansion tank. So uh, it runs open, that means it's gonna boil at 212 Fahrenheit. And uh, so it was starting to boil before, but it seems to be under control right now with the uh, uh, running through the one uh, set of fin tubes. So I'm using PEX hose here, and that's not the right kind of uh, hose that you wanna use for this type of heating system, because it's not gonna hold the heat. This is good for 180, and uh, these kind of systems can go well over that. So I'm just gonna show you what I got right now. It is kind of under control. So uh, we're looking at about 165 or so here. That's the uh, outlet and uh, the inlet. So on this end, we're about a 20, a 20 degree difference in temperature. Yeah, so about 135. The wind is actually picking up now. I don't want this thing to blow over yet. So yeah, the wind is also doing a good job at pulling heat out of the fin tube. And uh, probably a better test would be to do this on a day when there is no wind at all, because I mean, that's the, uh, I mean, it's gonna ultimately be in those conditions also. So this vent hose that I've got here, the other end of it ends up in this pail. And uh, so it kind of acts like the, uh, overflow on your radiator for your car so it, when it needs to expel water it does it into the pail and if it needs to uh, pull water back into the system it can do that also so it's starting to cloud over and I turned off the one row of fin tube so the water is just recirculating in itself and uh, I'm just gonna see if it'll boil over under these conditions give it a bit of time and I'll show you what it does So 198, yeah, I think it's gonna boil over. So out on the back side here, that fin tube actually kind of fits right at home there. You can see even if this whole panel was up against the wall, this whole area here, it has access to, uh, to air, right? Because it's not closed off, so it always has an air gap there. Well guys, I think we had a reasonably successful day got the water cooking so we'll talk to you guys again